Welcome back, everybody. If you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, please do so. It lets you know when we drop videos, and it also lets you know what we're up to. So, if you're a recurring viewer, thank you so much for watching. Right in front of us is the garden area, and I didn't have time to grab the camera because time was very important on this situation, and I had to make a few quick decisions. Um, in the last video, you've seen us come in and talk to you about after the snow and do a quick little review in the garden area. Well, we had a few little issues. Um, our cucumbers that turned white did die off, which is basically, and I knew that was going to happen, and I did tell you that it was going to happen. But we lost about 50% of the rest of what was left there. And... I've come to the conclusion that some birds came in, found the row, and started pecking and eating the whole rest of the seed because there's nothing left. So with that being said and done, we ended up reseeding and what we did is we took a pencil and we put a pencil hole in the ground about three quarters of an inch down and threw a seed into it, recovered it, and basically that's where we are right now and that's why I'm currently rewatering the garden just to give it a little bit of a kick start I'm not gonna do much because it is extremely wet underneath there um, the other thing is the corn seeds that you did see come out of the ground and I showed you in the video those basically 10 to 20 plants that was it that's all that came up and after digging down in the ground and looking physically at the seed finding the seed and looking at it I come to the conclusion that the seed is either dormant or no good. So I am currently redoing a germ test on that corn. This is a little different variety of, of corn that I have done than the other corn you've seen in the germination video. So basically I'm redoing that test quick to see what's going on. I won't know anything for about a week. And instead of waiting and taking a week's time before reseeding, I've decided to put in more corn in the open pipe link that's all the way on the other side of the garden that you remember now i really didn't want to use that area because it does get wind whipped but i don't feel like waiting a week and chancing us not having corn in the garden so i now have put double the amount of corn in if it does all come up then i will donate it to some families who need it or whatever it doesn't bug me at this point or I'll find a home um, there's all lots of family members who like corn so um, otherwise not everything else is pretty good um, beans half of the beans are up for sure the other half are just poking through I don't know if you can see them from here but we'll take a little bit of a closer step up I just was hiding behind some trees because the wind is extremely bad right now so, and basically, I do not like watering when it's windy, but I have no choice because the next few days is nothing but wind. So, and I'm just trying to get that crust broken up because the onions and, um, hold on, I'm thinking the name. The onions and the carrots are starting to come through the crust. So I want to try giving them the best chance that I absolutely can to try growing so this is basically a quick little update uh, nothing fancy uh, still no more potatoes at all so we're just gonna go with the flow this year the garden is what the garden is it's been a wonky year so thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day